Great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about pomegranates. I've spoken about this several times, but the more and more we research food, and when I say research food, we're not just talking about Google and looking at the health benefits of foods and superfoods. We're talking about advanced biomedical research. And today all of these points of pomegranate is being studied by pharmaceutical industries, by the medical world for its promise when it comes to cancer and several other conditions. You see, if there's any fruit that I would call a superfood, every single fruit has its own set of vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, flavonoids that work in different synergies in the human body for different diseases. But now, we're talking about pomegranate today because it is the pomegranate season right now if you live in India. But yet we have most people trying to buy imported blueberries and blackberries and kiwi fruits. I don't have a problem with that. Have those fruits. They do have some amount of health benefits as well. But you are going to benefit highly when you have the fruits that are growing locally in your country or your state at this particular time. There is a particular reason why mangoes grow during summer. There is a particular reason why certain citrus fruits grow during the rainy season and pomegranates grow right now. So, number one, right from high blood pressure to high cholesterol to reducing the oxidative stress. What is oxidative stress? It is something that you and me and everyone should be wary of today. Inflammation. Inflammation is a silent killer in all of our bodies. We get it from poor lifestyles, sugar, junk food, processed foods, refined oil, sedentary lifestyles, lack of sleep, a lot of your packaged foods and bakery items as well. So when we build oxidative stress in our cells, our cells don't have the ability to perform their normal function. So that decreases the way your immune function works. It confuses the DNA of your cells. Anything that confuses the DNA of your cells or interferes with the intelligence of your body like the immune system, it's like us allowing foreign invaders, you know, pathogens, germs, viruses to enter our body and we don't have a defense system at all. Polyphenols for antioxidants. In fact, it's beautifully listed today medically and scientifically that the antioxidant potential in pomegranates is way more than red wine. It is way more than even green tea. And we know that green tea and red wine are full of antioxidants. So why do we need more antioxidants today? Because we live in a world where we are constantly exposed to free radicals from the pollution, the air that we breathe, pesticides in our food, wrong cookware, wrong cooking oils, excessive eating, overeating, all of that stuff. Inflammation is the root cause of every disease. In fact, when you look at all your inflammatory diseases, okay, what kind of inflammatory diseases that we see? When we say they're termed medically as inflammatory diseases because they are caused by inflammation. Let me give you some of those examples. All and most cancers are categorized medically as inflammatory diseases. Diabetes, type 2, inflammatory disease. Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, all of these. Fatty liver problems, kidney issues, inflammatory diseases. So when we know the root cause is inflammation, we need to change our lifestyles and eat the right foods. Pomegranate is rich in these antioxidants. Like I said, more than red wine and more than green tea. Okay, the magic in elagic acid are the compounds, the elagic tannins and the elagic acid. This has been studied primarily for cancer and beautiful research when it comes to cancer, the prevention of cell growth and abnormal cell multiplication and inducing cell apoptosis. Apoptosis is a word that every one of us should understand. A healthy cell has a mechanism, a self-destructive mechanism that can kill itself. So when a cell feels it's attacked too much, it self-destructs itself so that no new abnormality can grow out of that cell. But if our cell is unable to kill itself, that's how we have mutations. That's how one cell affects another and then we have you know, the growth of a tumor or a cancer or the spread of a metastatic cancer. So cell apoptosis should be healthy in all of us. When our cells lose the ability to induce self-destruction, that's how cancers grow and that's how cancers spread. Elagic acid and elagic tannins are known today and proven to help. And it's beautifully written. Usually medical journals and scientific journals don't really like to write about, hey, these fruits can help you with the prevention of cancer. 
Well, it's clearly written when it comes to pomegranate. Prevention, as well as if you do have cancer or any deadly disease, pomegranate is a food that if you use the right quality and the right quantity, it can help you. I'm not here to say eat pomegranate and your cancer is going to disappear. No, cancer is a multifactorial disease. There are many other foods, many other lifestyle changes that you have to make when it comes to cancer or any other disease. So it is listed, pomegranate is listed as an anti-carcinogenic agent. And it is showing promise when it comes to prostate cancers, lung cancers, breast cancers, colon cancers, and skin cancers. So we must make use of this fruit that is growing right now and put it daily in our diets. Yes, daily. Because it's growing right now, after a while it's not going to grow until the next season. Okay, when it comes to your heart health, because it's rich in flavonoids today, it is also scientifically shown to improve your cholesterol. Your bad cholesterol can reduce. We all need cholesterol. Cholesterol isn't a bad thing. It's only when your triglycerides go too high and your HDL, which is your good cholesterol, goes too low. That's when we have most of the problems. So even high blood pressure. Pomegranate is great for people who have high blood pressure. When it comes to your reproductive system as well, it is great for your sperm quality. And for women, it is great for ovarian health, your reproductive health, the ellagic acid and the flavonoids. Fatty liver. In our country, there are millions of people who suffer from non-alcoholic fatty liver and alcoholic-induced fatty liver. Pomegranate is a great food for both these kinds of fatty livers. When it's coming to osteoporosis, it's coming to osteoarthritis, and it's coming to rheumatoid arthritis, again, the flavonoids and the tannins, because it has an anti-inflammatory okay, mechanism. So anything that can reduce inflammation in your body will reduce your pain. So what is arthritis? Arthritis is an autoimmune condition and it keeps inflammation high. It doesn't know how to switch off inflammation and that's why the pain stays there. But the moment you take an immunosuppressant or a steroid, the pain disappears because that immunosuppressant or steroid has shut down your immune system. Inflammation comes down instantly. Well, there are natural foods that also contain highly anti-inflammatory compounds. So this is it about pomegranate. You know, I, I think we shouldn't have to be convinced to consume nature in our diets. In fact, the amount of research that is been, you know, we have to do on fruits and vegetables to prove how good it is, if that same amount of research was done on the side effects of medication and everything else that we run to, okay, we would be looking at healthcare in a completely different perspective. So pomegranates grow right now. It's good to peel them. You can have like a small bowl. You can have four to five tablespoons in a day. Fruits are best consumed on an empty stomach because the bioavailability and the absorption of fruits on an empty stomach are perfect. We try not to do fruits post-sunset because it's a simple carb. You don't want spurts of energy. You don't want your blood glucose levels rising too fast. If you're type 2 diabetic, yes, of course, you can have fruits, but make an informed decision. If your blood sugar levels spike, always have fruits with a portion of nuts on the side so that the fiber, the protein, the fats don't allow your blood sugar levels to spike too quickly. So you can always pair fruits together, but please, don't, please let's get one thing clear. Fruits do not cause type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is caused by poor lifestyle and several other things. And because you have type 2 diabetes, you may have to monitor your fruits. But fruits do not cause diabetes. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.